it is asking you find the y coordinate of the highest point highest point um, of polar function r equals sine to theta that we are looking for so highest point of sine to theta that means the maximum actually we are looking for isn't it and the maximum what is the maximum value that's why oi coordinate so like you said that x equals r cosine theta y equals r sine theta so my r is sine 2 theta so we got here actually sine 2 theta cosine theta you get here sine 2 theta sine theta at the highest point dy dx is 0 is that true why you are saying this because in calc 1 we have seen that if I have a graph like this if I want to find max I need to say f prime equals 0 remember so f prime is actually dy dx that needs to be 0 so dy dx 0 meaning is dy d theta is 0 but dy sorry dx d theta should not be 0 okay so then we are saying that I need to find dy d theta equals 0 okay so that we will be doing now so we take the derivative of y with respect to theta and our function now look like this so I just want to avoid multiple angles to sine theta cosine theta. another sine theta will make it square so 2 sine square theta cosine theta now find dy d theta it has little more trigonometric work so dy d theta this one goes with the product rule so 2 derivative of sine square theta will be um, 2 sine theta and then sine theta will be cosine theta so it will be cosine square theta plus now keep your 2 sine square theta derivative of cosine will be negative sine theta right so then you can see that we got 4 sine theta cosine square theta minus 2 sine cube theta we want to write this equal to 0 remember that we said dy d theta needs to be 0 so factor out to sine theta so you get 2 cosine square theta minus sine square theta equal to 0 is that correct so we got this derivative and we say equal to 0 because I'm looking for max value max mean now when you have this so you get sine theta equals 0 and you are getting 2 cosine square theta minus sine square theta this one you did actually in pre-calculus the solution of trick for equations when sine theta is 0 that means theta is pi right or 0 both sine is 0 at 0 and sine is 0 at pi now this one we are doing like um, sine squared theta equals 2 cosine squared theta when we have this we can easily solve this one dividing by cosine squared theta so sine squared over cosine squared will give you 10 squared theta equals 2 right and then you get 10 theta is plus or minus e square root of 2 so that is exactly coming out now okay 
So once we get this, now we need to do further simplifications on this. You see that where we are getting the maximum value. So you can find your theta equals um, 10 inverse plus or minus square root of 2, right? So we got now following values theta equals 0, theta equals pi, and 10 inverse plus or minus square root of 2. All right. So I'm keeping this on for your exercise. Now you can plug it in y equals we got um, 2 sine squared theta cosine theta, right? So I just need to plug those values in here and see where I'm getting max. All right. So I'm keeping this on incomplete. Okay. You can try. 